Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to apply the apps function in the R programming language. So in the video I'm going to show you two examples and in the first example I'm going to apply the apps function to a vector and in the second line of this code we, will, we can create an example vector that we can use in this example. So if you run this line of code, you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right of RStudio. And uh, we can also have a look at this vector. And as you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console, this vector contains of five numeric values and two of these values are negative. Now let's assume that we want to convert this vector into a vector of absolute values. Then we can apply the apps function, as you can see in line four of the code. And within the apps function, we simply need to specify the vector object that we want to convert to absolute values. So if you run this line of code, you will see that a new vector object appears at the top right. And we can also have a look at this vector object by running line five of the code. And then you will see here at the bottom in the RStudio console that our new vector contains exactly the same values as before, but this time all values are positive. Yeah, in example two of the video, I want to show you how to apply the apps function to a data matrix. So as a first step, we need to create some example data. And this is what we are doing here in line eight. So if you run this line of code, you will see that a new matrix appears at the top right in our studio. And we can have a look at this matrix by running line nine of the code. And then you will see that at the bottom in the RStudio console, a data matrix is returned. What you can also see is that many of the values within the data matrix are negative. So let's assume that we want to convert all these negative values into positive values. Then we can apply the apps function, as you can see in line 11 of the code. And as you can see, this time, this is more or less exactly the same syntax as in the first example. We simply have to specify within the apps function the name of our data. So in this case, our data is called mat. So if we run line 11 of the code, you will see that another matrix object is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And we can have a look at this new matrix by running line 12 of the code. And now you can see that all values of the data matrix are positive. Yeah, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. However, if you want to learn more about the absolute function in the R programming language, then you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the apps function in which I'm explaining the code of this video in some more detail and in which I'm also giving more examples for the application of the apps function. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of this video so you could check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you give me a thumbs up on the video and if you leave me a comment with some feedback. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.